Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In today's video, we will learn how to deploy MongoDB as a Docker container. So MongoDB is basically the database services provided inside the Linux servers or the Linux environments just like the SQL and the MS SQL servers. So without any wasting time, let's jump into the practical. So here we have an EC2 Ubuntu instance on which the Docker environment is already installed. So to, to deploy the MongoDB as a Docker container, there are certain steps which we need to follow. So first of all, we will gain the super user access in the terminal. After gaining the super user access, we will update the packages. Now, once the packages are updated to run the MongoDB as a container, first of all, we create a container from the Mongo image. And after that, we expose that container to port number 27017 using hyphen P. And then we set it to auto start using hyphen hyphen restart. And with Mongo authentication, which is hyphen hyphen auth, we will authenticate the Mongo server, which we are using. Now the image being used here is the Mongo image which is the latest image from the Docker Hub registry. So first of all, we will pull the Mongo image from the Docker Hub. By using Docker pull Mongo, we have successfully pulled the Mongo image. So if we write Docker images, we can see that the Mongo images, the Mongo image has been pulled and it is the latest image. After that, we will use the command docker run. With that, we will specify the container name, which is we are keeping as default, which is your container name. And we are specifying a condition to restart it always. And we are exposing the given container on port number 27017 on which the Mongo service is running and the authentication which we are using is MongoD. So we will use the whole command to specify and configure all the parameters. So the container has started with the given ID with all the defined parameters in the given command. Now the second step is to use the localhost exception and it is basically used for the security purposes of the users which are accessing the container. So first of all, we will bash inside a container as a root user. So for that, we will use the command sudo docker exec. Along with that, we are entering into this container in the bash terminal. Now here we have accessed the bash terminal. After that, we will connect to the local Mongo service, which is running inside this given container. We will type Mongo and after typing Mongo, we can see all the specification related to the service, which is running inside it. So here we have accessed the MongoDB shell with the given version and we have connected to the MongoDB at port number 27017 which we defined here in the above command so it has specifying that we are welcome to the mongodb shell so after that connect after connecting to the local mongo we need to create the admin user and we will use the command use admin for that so it has switched to the db admin after that we will 
use the command db create user and we will specify the username along with the password and the role which we are giving to the specified user now once the command is successfully executed you can see that it has given the username and the password is by default hidden and these are the roles which we are specified to the user which is the root and the name of the db is admin now once we have specified these roles we can easily exit the mongo shell using exit now after exiting the mongo shell we can also exit the container so friends in today's video we learned how to deploy the mongodb as a container by first of all pulling the mongo image and specifying the name of the container along with the given condition of restarting it always and exposing it to the given port number and using the mongod authentication after that we bashed into the container and started the mongo service and inside the mongo service we created a admin user for the db along with that we specified the roles for the user so in short we have created a container started a mongo service inside the container and now we can deploy this container anywhere we want it could be a docker hub registry or in any other environment and this can be used at different environments and that was all for today's video thank you